Disney's 1959 animated masterpiece Sleeping Beauty is waking up and heading back to home media as one of the next titles in the Walt Disney Signature Collection. Of course, Sleeping Beauty has previously been released to Blu-ray as part of both the Platinum and Diamond Edition collections, marking the third and only title to receive Blu-ray releases across all three premium ranges. In this video, I'll take a look at all the details of all the different versions of Sleeping Beauty's Signature Collection Edition releasing across the US and Canada, and when you can pick them up in store and on digital platforms. Additionally, I'll briefly take a look at the specs of this release as well as the special features we can expect to find. I'll then deliver my final thoughts on the new releases and ask the age-old question, is it worth the upgrade? I will also leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the comments and description for those who wish to purchase the movie. On your screen is the list of topics that I'll be covering in this video. If you're more interested in checking out some over others, then please feel free to skip forward by the time codes I provided down below. Otherwise, you are of course more than welcome to stick it with me for the long run. Sleeping Beauty's Walt Disney Signature Collection Edition will be headed onto physical home media on the 24th of September 2019 and will be available to purchase on digital HD day and date. Sleeping Beauty will be released to the Signature Collection as a Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital multi-screen edition. And unlike Lion King, Little Mermaid and Aladdin will not receive a 4K release, which is a bit of a shame considering this is, in my opinion, just about the most beautifully animated Disney feature ever made. I'm not an enormous fan of the artwork that's been used on the cover here. There's been plenty of beautiful key art for Sleeping Beauty over the years, and this just seems like a really hasty and lazy effort that really doesn't do the film any justice. And I really feel like this cover wouldn't do much to sway a potential buyer who's on the fence about checking this one out as a blind buy. Target will offer an exclusive Digibook edition of the film as a Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital set, complete with a limited edition filmmaker gallery and storybook. Now, this is artwork that I really, really love and truly think is worthy of the film. It's vibrant and dynamic and feels like a little more thought went into it than just slapping together some clip art. Best Buy will also offer an exclusive steelbook of the release, again as a Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital combo pack. And again, this one features a far more superior cover art. I actually think I might like this one a touch more than Target's art. Again, it's vibrant and punchy and has a beautiful simplicity to it. As per usual, I would have been much happier if either the Best Buy or Target art had been used on the standard cover. It's worth noting that while Sleeping Beauty is bypassing a 4K release, its live action reimagining Maleficent will be reissued in one on the same day, just in time for the sequel Maleficent Mistress of Evil to hit cinema. Okay, so the one thing I get asked most when it comes to these signature re-releases is are we getting a new transfer or the same one that was previously featured on the Diamond release? Or in the case of Sleeping Beauty, the same one that was previously featured on the Diamond and Platinum releases. The three movies that received 4K releases in the signature line did in fact get new masters. However, those who have not been bestowed with such releases like the recent Cinderella have unfortunately so far are at least simply ported over the old transfers. The fact that Sleeping Beauty is not being given a 4K release tells me that this disc will likely feature the exact same transfer that has been released on Blu-ray twice already, as disappointing as that is. Now, I am a little disappointed that this isn't getting a proper 4K release because, as I said earlier, this is amongst Disney's most gorgeously animated movies of all time. This was a film originally processed and shot in Technicolor's stunning Technorama format and was actually rescanned in 4K for this particular Blu-ray master way back for the 2008 Platinum Edition. So just to rub salt into the wounds, I can just about guarantee that there is a 4K transfer floating around out there and I can imagine it could very likely be the best transfer of any traditionally animated film ever. However, I do understand Disney's trepidation in releasing this in 4K. While lauded by animation fans and enthusiasts, again, Sleeping Beauty is one of Disney's more highly underappreciated films. And as I mentioned, probably one that's harder to move for Disney. Skipping the 4K release means Disney can avoid any uncertainty. However, I also believe that it may have worked in their favor as many potential double or triple dippers probably would have bought a 4K disc 
in a heartbeat over yet another Blu-ray. This brings us on to the specs. Sleeping Beauty's signature release will feature once again the same 1080p transfer that was on the previous two releases. Unfortunately there will also be no new audio tracks on here, instead once again utilising the old 7.1 DTS HD master audio track. While the previous two editions also offered the original 4.0 theatrical audio track, it doesn't seem to be included here as it's not mentioned on the film's cover specs. However, this could just be an oversight and it might be on the disc after all. As per usual, the Signature Collection edition of Sleeping Beauty will come bundled with a handful of new bonus features. Strangely, Sleeping Beauty wasn't issued with a traditional press release, so these features are not as detailed as we're used to. That said, the newly included special features are, in Walt's words, Sleeping Beauty, and fun facts, things you never knew about Sleeping Beauty. One additional featurette will also be available exclusively to the movie's digital edition. Stories from Walt's office, designing the studio. In recent years, Disney have not had a great track record of producing substantial new features for these reissues, often chalking them up with fluffy two minute featurettes and around 10 minutes worth of decent new material. Sadly, it feels like Sleeping Beauty is the latest victim of this, and with only two new featurettes present on the disc itself, this could be the title most affected by this trend so far. All this said, this movie has been covered extensively through bonus features over the last few releases releases that I honestly can't see what other new stuff can be brought to the table. So while this is a disappointing selection of new stuff, I'm kind of okay with it. That said, what about all of the previous special features made available across the past Platinum and Diamond editions? How much of this makes it over to the signature? Sadly, not much at all. While the Blu-ray will house a decent selection of classic bonus, a vast majority of them will be delegated to digital only. Now, it's unsurprising to learn that so much has been left off the physical release. The original Platinum release featured two Blu-ray discs and five hours of bonus. The ensuing Diamond release scaled back to one Blu-ray disc and only included three hours of bonus. Now we're scaling back again and offering what can't be much more than one hour of bonus. This new release is fairly similar in that it ports over all of the features that were created for the Diamond and a selection of the classic bonus that were also featured on the Diamond as well. There's a couple missing here, including Ivan Earl, A Man and His Art, and The Sound of Beauty, Restoring a Classic, which were on the diamond, but we can assume that these were removed to make way for the two new features. All in all, this is essentially the same release as the diamond edition, with a couple of things taken off and a couple of things put on. While the digital copy does boast about offering a selection of additional classic bonus, it's unclear whether it will be the entire five hours worth of stuff that was offered on the Platinum a list of which I have provided on the screen. However, considering the physical release includes most of the Diamond stuff, I'd say that there is a good chance that at least most of the remaining Platinum stuff will be available digitally. Walt Disney referred to Sleeping Beauty as his magnum opus. It was a film so big and so grand that it took eight years to complete and went enormously over budget. The film marked a new animation style for Disney, with Walt instructing his animators to ditch their usual rounded European style for a more angular French Renaissance style. Renaissance artist Ivan Earl was brought in to overhaul the film's production design and stunning backgrounds, and artist Mark Davis delivered some of his greatest character animation ever despite struggling to work in the new style. Unfortunately, after all of their efforts, the movie was a complete box office disaster and has forevermore maintained its underappreciated status. Sleeping Beauty in its enormous artistic endeavour is a stunning film. It features incredibly vibrant colours and some of the most amazing dreamlike animation ever featured in a traditionally animated film. Sleeping Beauty is worth owning on Blu-ray, but the million dollar question is, if you already own this on Blu-ray, is it worth the upgrade? Well I think unfortunately the decision is fairly obvious on this one. This is a release that features the same old master, adds a couple of fluffy new bonus and a selection of classic bonus, digitally at least. As I said before, this is essentially the same release as the diamond with a dash of new stuff and an inferior new cover. Actually this is quite possibly the single least worthy signature release so far. If you own either the diamond or the platinum, then this one is an easy no.
For a first time buyer however, this is a release that will certainly suffice. This is a great alternative to the Diamond release for those who missed out, and though it could never replace the Platinum release in terms of what's offered physically, the digital offerings should make up for that. While the Platinum is easily the vastly superior version of this movie on Blu-ray and the one that I wish everyone could own in their collection, it's tricky to track down these days at a reasonable price. If you can get your hands on it and you want to fork out the money, then great, but otherwise, all things considered, for newer buyers, I'll give this one a yes, but a very loose one at that. For me, at the end of the day, I'm an enormous completist and have to grab every copy of these movies that comes around, if not simply for those new bonuses, no matter how short or fluffy they are. I'll be grabbing myself a copy of the standard release, but make no mistake, this will be no upgrade. I will be keeping my previous sets and simply using this as a companion piece to complement them on the shelf. And at that, it's over to you guys. What are your thoughts on the Sleeping Beauty releases? Fire away in the comments below and let me know, will you be picking it up or having a nap on this one? Once again, for those who wish to purchase the movie or Maleficent's upcoming 4K, I've left Amazon affiliate links down below in the comments and the description. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.